Hi students, I'm making this video today. It is International Women's Day. I dedicate this video to the famous women biologists throughout the world. I would like to discuss few of them. Let's start with Rosalind Franklin. You have all heard about or read about the DNA double helical structure and you are all probably aware that this structure it was given by Watson and Crick. How did they give this structure? They looked at X-ray crystallography studies done by two scientists by the name of Wilkins and Franklin right for giving this structure of DNA Watson Crick and Wilkins they got a Nobel Prize in the year 1962 so it sets you wondering why did Franklin never get a Nobel Prize she was also a part of this process so it's rather painful bit of Franklin she was suffering from ovarian cancer and she died in the year 1958 before she could be given the Nobel Prize. And please guys, remember the Nobel Prize, it is never given posthumously. They only consider the alive candidates. Never, never is it given posthumously. So it's rather sad. She deserved it, well deserved it, but she couldn't be given the Nobel Prize. Right, moving on, Barbara McClintock. Well, she was the first person to describe the concept of jumping genes. What are jumping genes? The genetic elements which jump or shift their position moving from one chromosome to another chromosome also known as transposons. So for discovery of transposons, McClintock, she got a Nobel Prize in the year 1983. She's also credited with giving the first genetic map for maize, which is rather interesting. Okay, so moving on to the next scientist, Martha Counts Chase. We have all read in our 12th class Hershey and Chase experiment. Hershey and Chase, what did they do? They took bacteriophages. The viruses which attack bacteria are known as bacteriophages. They took T2 bacteriophages along with Escherichia coli bacterium, took radioisotopes of phosphorus and sulfur, and for the first time, they proved that DNA is the genetic material. Till then, it was very popularly believed that protein might be the genetic material. But Hershey and Chase, they did an experiment and beyond doubt, they definitely proved that DNA is the genetic material. Okay. Fine. Moving on to Margaret Sanger. She was actually a nurse by profession, but she promoted birth control. In fact, she opened the first birth control clinic in the United States by the name of Planned Parenthood. So she is the first lady in the world to set up a reproductive planning clinic. Hats off to the lady. Moving on. Florence Sabin. She studied lymphatic and immune systems in a lot of detail and she is very popularly known as the first lady of American science. Okay, Florence Sabin, the first lady of American science, right? And please be aware, she was also the first female full professor at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. Great lady. Okay. Who has never seen this beautiful lady? I remember while growing up, I used to watch National Geographic and Discovery Channel and this beautiful lady, she would be there cuddling with the chimpanzees, looking after them. This beautiful lady, Jane Goodall, she studied chimpanzees. She was the one who discovered that they are omnivores. She was the one who discovered that they can even use tools, right? Very famous for her work with 
chimpanzees. In fact, she has become a global leader for efforts to protect wild apes and their habitat. It work. So, this was all guys. I'll soon be back with another video. Till then, bye.